Hey guys, new time again. Uh, featured summon will be Last Will and Regan, New Vision and New Vision Awakenable Rain, Infer Inf Infernal Fire Rain. So I already did uh, reviews on the two units, so check them out on my channel um, if you're interested in pulling for Last Will and Regan. Also, if you're interested in Awakening Infernal Fire Rain. So drop rates will increase starting January 28th. Um, it end of maintenance Thursday 128 Wednesday 2 10 every elven summon will guarantee a five star envy unit and we get a summon coin last well in Reagan uh, performing an 11 summon on the f uh, on the banner uh, it's usually cost eight coins to exchange for the unit itself so that's gonna be um, eight times five that's 40 thousand lapis to guarantee last will and Reagan panel su summon is gonna be back. Um, can get trust moogles, fragments, and tickets. All right, so this is last well and Reagan. Um, both forms are uh, damage dealers. Super chest master reward is darkness purging blades of Azuri crimson. Attack 182. Uh, activate dragon slaying blades. Boost physical. Damage against dragons and boost LB damage. Acknowledged by purple lightning, boost attack by 30 and boost attack by 40 when equipped with a sword or katana. Also get his vision card, festive preparations, team last will level 1, HP 100, attack 40, level 10, HP 200, attack 90. And some of his abilities, Snow Clad Blade, uh, deal partial unmitigated ice damage to one enemy and add the ice element to own physical attacks that is grand disability and dragon slayer blade uh, boost physical and magic damage against dragons reduce physical and magic damage dealt by dragons for four turns to all allies and brave shift abilities twin blades of flame this is a tag team attack means uh, it changed by itself deal fire damage two times and gradual fire damage to one enemy and last is ignited twin blades their grand disability in BS formed, also attack team attack, deal fire damage to all enemies two times, and add fire element to own physical attack. This is um, Infernal Fire Rain, that's what he looks like in shift and base form. So base form is a, a, a physical attacker, uh, shift form is evoke magic dealer. Okay, we already know his SUMR and team R. Um, standard abilities for the base form packed with Ifrit. Boost attack by 500 boost damage of certain abilities. So it uh, modifies some modifiers for her 7 star skills. And fiercer than fire is boost LB damage. So a static brave ability which two, uh, both of his forms can access. Uh, featured Brave Shift abilities, uh, Unleashed Evocation, ev enable evocation of any Esper equipped by an ally and activate area effect when evoking certain Espers. So in Rain's case, that's Ifrit. He's gonna summon the Ifrit field to deal 25% um, more fire magic damage. And last is the Blaze of Grand Shalt. Two uses per battle, boost mag, fill LB gauge to max enable. Triple Saber for 4 turns and fill LB gauge to max after 3 turns for caster. All right. Next is um, uh, Bahamut and Asura challenge. So defeat Bahamut and Asura and be rewarded. So it's a community community event. Bahamut and Asura challenge. It's time to test your skills against the two mighty espers from the world of Lapis and Palladia. Join the community in defeating Bahamut and Asura to earn rewards, including exp expansion vouchers. Tickets, a new ability, and chain comprehension. We're gonna check that out. Uh, chain comprehension boost damage limit for various chains by 50%. So what that means is when you're true, when you're holding a single weapon in both hands, that's true double hand. You only get 400% um, uh, chain modifier. That's a cap. But when you're dual wielding, you get 600%. I think. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you equip this, you'll get 50% more. So 400 will be 450 and 600 will be 650. Alright, so please note that chain damage limit boost can go up to 200%. So units already have their chain damage increased by 200% by abilities like Dual Blade Mastery will not benefit further from this ability. 
Okay, um, scratch that. The 600 will be the cap. Uh, so if it's two double hand plus this um, um, ability, uh, you will get a 450. Right, to participate, players will need to defeat the raid boss, Bahamut and Asura, multiple times in the Dimensional Vortex. The raid event will be available at the end of maintenance. All right, so at the end of the event, all players will get the following awards depending on the total number of times the raid boss is defeated during the event period. So 1 million times Expansion Voucher 1, and 3, 3 million times is NVEX Ticket. Uh, three of those and lastly five million times the chain comprehension so make sure to do this um grind this event so we can get the chain comprehension all right so if the community manages to clear the last milestone of the event please note that the first two rewards will be sent separately from chain comprehension ability the ability will be distributed at a later date all right so next is um, the battle with Bahamut and Asura. So this will be a raid event. Um, that's Bahamut and Asura. Also comes with a raid box summon. And we can earn raid coins. And we can earn a bunch of equipment here so it's a far plane defender it's an accessory attack mag 35 activate hope for the weak boost attack and mag by 20 percent and boost physical and magic damage against humans and dragons oh that's really good uh, boost physical and magic damage against humans and dragons so two types of killers on an accessory uh, it could be good depending on the amount of killer Alright, so Vision Soul, it's another accessory, HP 200, MP 50, attack, defense, magic, spirit by plus 10, boost all element resistance by 10%, activate Vanquisher of 2 Espers, boost HP and MP by 20. Um, I re I kinda good, um, resist or all, all element resist is good. Next is the Spooky Breaker, uh, Materia Boost, Magic Damage against Reapers. Could be useful against um, the Dark Vision boss. To defeat Evil Beast, Boost Attack and Mag by 20, Boost Physical and Magic Damage against Beast and Demons. Alright. Lastly is a Thunderstorm Armor, Boost HP by 20 and Lightning and Wind Resistance by 30. Overall pretty good um, materials and equipment. Alright, so everyone knows how Raid works. Bonus units are Rain and Fina, Laswell and Regan, Fina and Dark Fina, and uh, Infernal Fire Rain. And bonus units for 40% uh, most envies. Yep. And for the 20 ones, um, 7 stars. And the 10, um, the 3 star base units. Okay, so that's the that's the battle with Bahamut and Asura. Um, challenge of the Brave Far Flame Wanderers will be uh, extended until Wednesday, 2.10. We also get the bonus challenge, battle with the Visions of Bahamut and Asura, limited to FFB units only. And these are the units we can use. Heroes of the Lapis Rebellion is coming back. Also, Transcendent Heroes. Next is um, so the Unit Into Crest. We can bring Lastful and Reagan to battle, test them out, use their skills, and use their LB. Don't forget to do this for the NRG Restore and Lapis 50, and some Star Quartz. And vision card. This is uh, Laswell's vision card, Laswell and Riggins. So I already talked about this on my review, but uh, let's talk about it again. Uh, level one, uh, HP 100, 
attack 40, level 10, 290. So, um, uh, HP is meh, but attack is kind of low on the low side if you compare them to the existing um, attack vision cards. Uh, but level 4 and level 7 abilities uh, boost equipment attack by uh, attack when armed with 200 weapons so that's 25% total of 50% so if you want to tap your true dual wield um, passive you can use this vision card also more resist war ray is coming back and that's it See what else? Um, Dark Visions is coming back. Uh, all right. So same ranking rewards. They didn't change that. You get Dark Matter. All right. So watch out for my my guides on Dark Visions. And next is uh, Far Plane Grotto Exploration. Dr. Lazarov and Zulu and Delulu. So they have no elemental weaknesses, but man eaters should be effective. Raise your party's fire, ice, and lightning resistance. Be sure to include countermeasures against status elements. So we get NVX ticket, 100 lapis, NVX ticket, and a trust move. And the story continues, we get uh, Season 3, Chapter 6, Part 2. I think the um, half energy is still going on, so take advantage of that. And exchange up for Last Well and Reagan. You can exchange for Last Well and Reagan for 8 coins, and also for their fragments, and a Transcension Pro. Right, so... Hopefully you have better uh, good luck so you won't have to exchange for the unit and um, I am your father login bonus Day one uh, 10 last will and Reagan fragments day two infernal fire rain fragments day three 100 lapis Last will and Reagan fragment again Day five infernal fire rain fragments and last will and Reagan fragment and ascension pearls That and Fountain of Lapis is coming back. All right. See you again next week.